You right quick let me hit you with the truth bomb so I have been wanting to make this recipe forever okay well it's your lucky day you better be glad that I tried to make it before you did because making candy is no joke so I'm not gonna lie this is a different day this is a different video and I had to make a second batch of that cinnamon candy because I really messed up the first batch I let it sit out overnight it never hardened and I woke up to a fruit roll-up sitting in a pan a cinnamon fruit roll-up at that the problem was I I didn't let it get to that hard candy boiling point. So let it get to 300 degrees, my friends. So I did have to make a second batch. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the process. Just know that when your thermometer says it's not to 300 degrees yet, let it get to 300 degrees. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. But I did make a second batch. I worked out all the kinks for you and it turned out amazing and it's so delicious. And I can't wait for you to try it. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Hot Mess Express. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be making Christmas cinnamon rock candy. The reason that I'm making it is because last year one of my students brought me a container of it to school around the holidays and I ate on it all through December, all through the new year. It was so addicting and it was the best. And it seems so simple to make. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients for it. There's also really cute ways that you could gift it to others. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this year. I'm making a batch today for myself to have at the house and then I'm gonna be making more batches throughout the holidays for coworkers, friends, families, and I'm gonna show you how you can package it nice and cute. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button below so you don't miss another Vlogmas video. Sugar, powdered sugar, light, K syrup, red food coloring, cinnamon oil for candies. I ordered these off of Amazon. And then just whoop, some parchment paper to line your baking sheet. And I'm using some Pam just so the candy coating doesn't get stuck on my baking sheet. Okay, so the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is get a deep baking pot and a candy thermometer. And I'm gonna go ahead and just clip mine on the side. You need one cup of water. Thank you. Next. Three and three fourths cup of sugar. One and one fourth cup of corn syrup. Oh, get a little arm workout. One teaspoon of food coloring. Blood! Thermometer is rising, but we're only almost to 200, and I believe it needs to get to 300 degrees. Once mixture reaches 300 degrees, remove from heat and stir the cinnamon oil, working quickly. Keep face away from the mixture as it is strong like onions, and keep the area well ventilated. Wow, this sounds fun. One teaspoon of cinnamon oil, two teaspoons for spicy. I did like how spicy this candy was, so I'm gonna do two teaspoons. Okay, while I'm letting that boil, we are gonna get our pan ready here on a tripod. Pod, so it's like eh. so I have already sprayed this cooking sheet and then I'm gonna go ahead and line it with parchment paper and since I sprayed it before I don't know if you can tell but it's like sucking to the pan and this will make sure that the candy doesn't seep out over the edges if it hardens on my pan I'm not guaranteed that that's gonna be an easy cleanup Back to the stove. Okay, yep. Oh, oh, we're boiling. More boiling. Bled, bled, bled. I turn the heat down. And I don't know if my candy thermometer is broken, but it still says it's at 200. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Continue the boil until sugar reaches 300 degrees, which is called the hard crack stage. Hard crack stage. Wait about 20 minutes. Oh. Okay, well it hasn't been 20 minutes, that's for sure. All right. Okay, I can't wait to add the cinnamon, but the person in here said that they used gloves to add the cinnamon. I feel like I don't need to do that, YOLO. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add the cinnamon. Remove it from the heat. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like right now. Blood. I need to stop saying blood. It's not very Christmassy. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of the cinnamon oil. Oh, it says to put the fan on. So I'm gonna turn mine on so I don't die. Okay, I used 
all of it. Hopefully that's not too spicy. Okay, oh yeah, still need the pan. Keep on whisking. Don't try and smell it yet. Whoa, hope I didn't put too much cinnamon. Now it is time to pour it in the pan. I will say my house smells divine right now. It smells like Christmas. The fumes are really strong. Do not try to put your face in there and sniff it. I would not recommend that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer to the pan for it to cool for four hours. <coughs> Holy. Are what makes you cough, but the fumes are going away and it's better. <laughs> As of now, I am definitely going to be the grandma in my grandchildren's life that makes this every year for Christmas. Now it just needs to cool for four hours. When it's done cooling, we are going to sprinkle the powdered sugar on top. I'm not gonna lie, it did not go as planned. Um, the candy that I made wasn't fully hardened whenever I woke up. I had to throw it all back in the pan and I'm re-liquefying it because it was like the consistency of like um, like a fruit roll up. <laughs> and it's supposed to be hard rock candy. So I'm re-liquefying it and I think I'm gonna boil it for longer. I think what happened was, I didn't boil the um, sugar to like that hard candy boiling point. I thought my candy thermometer wasn't working because it was only at like two, 230 degrees and it needed to be at 300 degrees. Well, I guess my candy thermometer was working because it it didn't reach the 300 degrees that it needed to be at to harden. So I'm gonna reboil it, make sure that it gets to that 300 degrees. I set a timer on Alexa for 20 minutes so that it boils for the right amount of time I'm not to. sure what you wanted to change. Nothing, 